Hi, it's Tiffany Verbecki with the Coping with Depression blog at HealthyPlace.com. And this week I want to talk about procrastination and depression. I have been procrastinating making this video for about a week. Every day for seven days, I have opened my phone camera, started to record a video, and then three minutes in, I changed my mind, and I put the phone down, and I walk away. I was originally going to speak about insecurities, and instead of just getting it done, I pushed it off because I am a procrastinator. I like the thrill of procrastination, of pushing stuff off until the very last minute and then getting it done and doing it well. I have 22 years of practice pushing stuff off and I've gotten pretty good at it. But I'm realizing that it's inhibiting my ability to cope with my depression and to be mentally healthy. The reasoning for this is because procrastination requires a lot of stress. Um, building up to a deadline and pushing it off and pushing it off, I have found myself to become increasingly anxious while I push off uh, my work. Instead of sitting down and focusing, I start to get a little panicky, but I think to myself, no, no, I've always been a procrastinator, therefore I have to push it off until the very end because I work better under pressure and I always do okay when I do that. I'm not used to getting stuff done before a deadline. And well, I mean, early before a deadline. And so I don't really know any other way than to procrastinate. But the anxiety that comes with pushing it off has become increasingly detrimental to my mental health and to the way I view things. Um, I have started to beat myself up a little more um, because I'm like, why can't I just focus now? Why do I feel the need to put myself through the stress of rushing at the end just to try to get something done. So it's been rough and it's been a really hard lesson to learn because in college, procrastinating is something you can brag about with your friends. It's kind of a camaraderie thing. If you're good at procrastinating and then getting stuff done right at the very end, it's something that you can kind of high five about and laugh about and um, get really happy and excited with. But now that I am out of college and I'm working more and I'm trying to be better to myself, I'm realizing that procrastination really just leads to a bunch of mental beatings and um, stress. So if you're a procrastinator, I encourage you to try to get stuff done ahead of time, even if it means breaking it up into a bunch of mini deadlines. You can still get that thrill, but it's before the actual deadline. Um, I think it's just better for our brains to not cause even more unnecessary stress. And procrastination is choosing to stress yourself out because you think the work will be better. Um, so I'm gonna go try to get my article done and I'm gonna try to edit my video and I'm going to attempt to get it done at least 12 hours before it's actually due because procrastination is really not working out for me. Have a good day.